So this round ball here in my hand looks like a basketball, except it's gray and yellow. This is a sleeping bag. This is from Thermarest, and this is the Parsec. This is a 20 degree, negative six Celsius sleeping bag. 800 filled down, and my review begins right now. This product went into testing along with a sleeping pad from Thermarest in the summer of 2019. It is now the winter of 2020, and it is time to pass on my review of the Parsec. Such a long amount of time has allowed me to thoroughly test this product out in a wide range of conditions, temperatures, and locations. I've used this product all around the country. It has lots of features which I think will impress you, and we might as well begin with the storage bag here. Now, I have to admit, I like the bag. I do not like the storage sack here. Yes, it does compress everything down, but just check this thing out. <laughs> it really doesn't do a good job of compressing this bag. There are better compression bags for sleeping bags than this. I've never been a fan of the quad pull system. You compress the bag at four points, and what you end up with is just an odd-shaped wad. This is not waterproof by any means. It's a little bit heavy, and I'll come back to that in just a minute. All in all, I tend to leave this at the house I don't use it, I go with a different product. The Thermarest Parsec comes with this storage bag. It comes with a compression sack. And it comes with a sleeping bag. With the Parsec, this is available in three different sizes, small, regular, and large. This is the regular size, and I would say this is good for individuals up to six foot six one. If you're taller than that, I would go with the larger size, and if you're a wide individual, you may want the larger size as well. The weight of the regular size is two pounds, 4.3 ounces, and that includes the stuff sack. The weight of the stuff sack itself is 3.2 ounces. Thermarest refers to the color of this as white heat. It is a yellow to white gradient, I will talk about my opinion on this shortly. When it's in the supplied stuff sack, you are looking at a bag that's roughly 10 inches by 15 inches. The dimensions of the sleeping bag itself, 80 inches long, 30 inches wide. Naturally, if you're considering the sleeping bag, you will want the girth measurements. So head over to the Thermarest website, you'll find a link down below and you will find those. I definitely do not want to spend all day throwing out measurements, so make sure to check those out at the website. With that being said, let's continue on with some stats and features. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the installation is a down. It's an 800 fill goose down. That's been treated with Nick Wax. And this is what they call a hydrophonic down. In other words, this allows you to use it in damper conditions and it will perform better. The outer shell material is a 20D polyester ripstop that has been hit with a water repellent treatment. You could spill water on this and it will just simply fly off. That's a nice feature to have, especially when you're inside of your tent and it's moist outside and you're all zippered up where things can become wet and moist. The lining fabric is a 20D polyester taffeta. And on the back side, on the bottom, it features sleeping pad straps. And let me tell you everyone, these are awesome. Essentially what you do is that you put these around your sleeping pad and you can toss and turn all night long and the bag doesn't move with you. It stays in a place. It works very, very well. And I'm glad to see this feature here. Let's say you do not want to use these. You can take them off and save just a little bit of weight. They're nice and stretchy, so you can shove your pad in there, no matter the size. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about when it comes to the sleeping bag being connected with the sleeping pad. This bag does feature left side zip, dual zips, two-way zips, in other words. Those are YKK zippers and they work very, very well. So once you're inside of this and it's connected to your pad, you can toss and turn all that you want to. You could sleep on your side, sleep on your back. You could rotate. It's awesome. At the top, you have a snap along the hood. You have a draw pull, so you can cinch this up nice and tight. Continuing on with the features of this bag, you have a zippered pocket on the outside, that is on the right side of the bag. On the inside, you have gigantic draft collars next to the zipper and around your chest. Also at your back, they are very impressive. They are very, very large. 
and they do a fantastic job of holding in the heat and blocking out the cold air. Next up, when it comes to the features, we have the tow box, which features extra down insulation. It's extra thick. Essentially, there is a pocket on the inside here where you can stick your feet into. And Thermarest refers to this as the Toasis. It is what it is. It's a pocket where you stick your feet into and they can stay nice and warm. And it works. And as far as features go, that's pretty much it. And with that being the case, let's jump to the review right now. Starting with the pros primarily, there's also a con in here. Let's talk about price. This is a very pricey sleeping bag. If you pay full retail price, that's important. The retail price is 370 to 410, depending on the size that you get. Now, at the time of filming, I was able to find this online for as low as 290, which at 290, that is an awesome deal for this bag. When it comes to products from cottage companies and so on, you can pay as much as you want to for a sleeping bag. I have a Katabatic Gear quilt, which I do like a whole lot, but that thing was, I mean, 550, I believe. It was very, very expensive. It's a great product, don't get me wrong, there's a place for it. But you could find this sleeping bag here for quite a bit less. The weight is similar and the quality is very good. And also, it's very warm. And that leads us to our next pro, warmth. When it comes to the down, it is divided 60% on top, 40% on the bottom. And it does, at least for me, take me down to 20 degrees with absolute comfort. I have pushed this down to roughly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And I was beginning to get cold. I ended up putting on my down jacket and I threw some hand warmers in my socks and I stayed nice and toasty. You can definitely push this bag as much as you want to, but you need to keep in mind that you are going to need additional insulation. My experiences with this bag are based on roughly 30 nights of use. I've used this in the summertime where it was hot and sticky, and I've used it in the fall and also in the winter here. And I could tell you that this is a very versatile bag, and I have to admit, I really have grown to love this bag. I really have, and let me tell you why. If you are not going to use, the sleeping pad attachment points. There's something very cool that you can do with this bag that allows you to use it in a wide range of temperatures and climates. Disconnect the sleeping pad and turn your sleeping bag upside down, opening up the zipper, shoving your feet into the foot box, just like this, and you have yourself a quilt. It works perfectly as a quilt. And you can easily use this sleeping bag in the summer. You could cover up to your head, you could sprawl out, kick a leg out, do whatever you need to, and you stay incredibly warm. When Susan and I were in Colorado, the temperatures ranged from like 70, 80, all the way down into the low 40s. And I used this and was absolutely comfortable. I could mummy it if I want to, quilt it if I want to, I mean, it really does work well. Because of the design of this, this really does allow you to use this product in multiple temperature ranges, locations, humidity levels, and whatnot. And also, it's good for someone who is cold-natured. A good example of this is my wife, Susie. She is one who can go camping with a zero-degree bag just about any time of the year. <laughs> this is 20 degrees, and she could take this and be warm all year round, and she can zip up if she needs to, or sprawl out a little bit more. Use what she needs to. All of this amounts to versatility. You're not buying a product that limits you to one temperature range and one range only. You really can use this all year round, depending, of course, where you're at. If you're in Florida, this is a little bit warm for you. I've used this sleeping bag in tents, under tarps, and in bivvies, and it's performed well in every scenario. Specifically with bivvies, the way that the down has been treated it really does work well in those damper sort of situations. Another pro for this bag is the quality. The craftsmanship is very good. I do have one loose thread on the inside. It is actually tied off, but it does stick out a little bit. But on the outside, I see no issues when it comes to the sewing. I've had very little down loss with this bag. I mean, very, very little. Even while looking at it, I do not see any uh, goose down coming through. Continuing with the pros, the weight of this bag is very good. A 20 degree bag that is right at two pounds, 
that's not bad by any means. When it comes to compressing this bag, it can go down very, very small. The included compression bag is not very good. It really does keep it at a basketball sort of form. That's not very good in my opinion. Use a different stuff sack and you really can get this thing nice and small. Talking about comfort for a moment, this is a very comfortable bag. This is a loose fitting mummy style bag and it is comfortable. It's not restrictive by any means. You can move around and I like that personally. In other words, it's loose and it's roomy, but not to the point of being ineffective when keeping you warm. When it comes to the foot box, it is very, very warm. As you can see, you have this little pocket right here. You shove your feet in, they warm up quick, it works. As far as pros go, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. Let's start with the cons. As I mentioned before, there is a pocket on the outside. I've never used this. Uh, you could put whatever you want to in there, of course, but if you're inside of the bag, all zipped up, you have to unzip to access it. So yeah, in my opinion, it's a useless feature. Next, we have to talk about the temperature rating of this bag and the way that this bag has been labeled. It is very confusing. This is the Thermarest Parsec 20 degree Fahrenheit bag. It says so right here. Now on the inside of this bag, you will find the EU temperature rating and it states that the comfort range is 30 degrees for this bag. The transition range is 20 degrees. And essentially that's like at the very end of the comfort range where you are going to begin getting cold. Then you have the risk range, which is negative 12 degrees. This is confusing for a lot of people. And I've seen the comments online, people asking questions because it is confusing. What is the temperature range of this bag? Now, let me go ahead and tell you this. For myself, this is a 20 degree bag. For my wife, Susie, this was right at 27 degrees. She began getting cold. She did not want to push it down to 20 degrees herself. The thing you have to keep in mind when it comes to temperature ranges is that they vary so widely. Everyone is different. And just because a bag works at 20 degrees for me, it may not for you and vice versa. So do keep that in mind. Being man, woman, there is a difference there. With all of that being said, this is a 20 to 30 degree bag for most people. If you're very hot natured, you can easily push this lower. I would say 15 to 10 degrees. Because of the colors of this bag, this is something that will stain over time. As you get this dirty, you have it inside of your tent, there's some dirt, it will begin to stain. I have some stains popping up on this already. That is something that you need to be aware of. Washing a sleeping bag is not the easiest thing in the entire world. I personally don't recommend it unless you absolutely have to do it. But yeah, this is a color that will stain. There are no other colors in this temperature range with the Parsec line to choose from, and that's a shame. While I can deal with this, I can live with it, it's not offensive to me, but there are people out there who simply do not want a yellow sleeping bag. There are people out there who simply do not want Teletubby in weird colors. When I go out to purchase a piece of gear, I do care what the gear looks like. I take a look at it, I choose something that relates to me, that connects to me, something that I like, and we're all that way. If you go out to buy a car, you usually find something in a color that you like or a look, a style that you like. Yellow is just not my favorite color. It's one of those Teletubby colors and it's a problem that other companies have and it really has been becoming more and more aggressive over the years. Take Sierra Designs as an example. They make fantastic tents and backpacks and whatnot, but you're stuck with those Teletubby colors. It's blue, it's white, it's yellow. <laughs> I don't like it, and I know most of you don't as well because I've read the comments. Of course, there are some people who like yellow, who like blue and whatnot, and that's great. And if you happen to like the looks of this, that's awesome. Again, not my favorite. I can get over it. And with all of those negatives, this is still a fantastic sleeping bag. I wish I had the camera on just now. A hawk flew right through camp here and just went right over my head. That was awesome. Gosh, I love nature. Anyways, with the cons for this sleeping bag, I do recommend it still. They are very minor. All in all, this is a very warm, very versatile bag. I recommend it. I really do. I don't like the color, not one bit. It's Teletubby, but I can get over it because it performs so well. The quality is very good. You have a limited lifetime warranty. It is on the pricier side. There are, of course, more expensive bags out there. There are cheaper out there. 
if you can find this on sale, get a good deal. That makes it even better of a value. For my review of the Parsec, that's pretty much it. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this sleeping bag. Make sure to share your thoughts about Thermarest as a whole. Share with the community because that's what we are. We are a community. Here with the Outdoor Gear Review, I'm simply passing on my thoughts, my feelings about this bag, my review. I've taken my time, I've tested it out. This is how it has performed with me. I am not sponsored by Thermarest. You will not find affiliate links on this channel. And again, I don't care if you purchase this or not, but hopefully my information, my review has helped you out. Until next time, everyone, take care, strength and honor. Email me if you have a question. See ya.